hope everyone is doing awesome. And if this is your first time here, then welcome. So I'm gonna be detangling my hair today. Oh no, no! I'm gonna be detangling my hair today with a hair tool. If you guys have been with me on my channel, you know that I am a finger detangling girl only. I think I've been finger detangling now for over 10 years. It by far has been the method that has worked the best for me thus far when it comes to detangling. My super, super above average levels of tangled curly hair. I used to use a wide tooth comb that wouldn't cut it after a while. Even when my hair was relaxed, even when I straighten it now, my hair is very, very tangled. That's just the nature of the game when it comes to my hair. But I'm wondering now since it's been so long and hair constantly changes and evolves if Finger detangling alone is just not enough for me anymore because my hair is just feeling like it's more tangled than ever. The health has started to suffer a little bit. I don't know if that's because of other factors or if the detangling could be playing a role in it, but I am revisiting the tools conversation today because I'm going to be doing a style where I need my hair to be super super detangled i'm gonna be doing a protective style where i'm hoping that it will last for a good amount of time and tangles are not a part of the game when it comes to that so i'm gonna be trying for the first time the cosmology curls plus comb wet and dry detangler i'm sure that you guys have seen or use this comb yourself it has been very popular since it hit the scene i was want to say maybe two three years ago they also make a brush that i've also been curious about over the years but i'm just gonna be trying the comb for now for all hair types great for all curls and they make some pretty good claims on the back here but I said the same thing about all the other hair tools I've tried people always recommend to me when I tell them that my hair is super super tangled I know they're trying to help and I'm like I've tried it all I would say like maybe not all but like 99% of it all right now I have not tried the unbrush which I am kind of curious about even though I've seen kind of mixed things on the target.com reviews but the reviews I'm seeing with my own eyes online look a little interesting so I might be trying the unbrush not sure yet because I have horrible luck with brushes, but I have tried the Wee Dad Double Detangler, a Denman wet brush, the Magic Rate Comb, the Tangle Buster, kind of like a version of the Felicia Leatherwood brush, a modified Denman. So, so many hair tools just either have not worked to detangle my hair or have actively damaged it and made it worse. One of the worst bouts of damage I've ever had in my life was brushing my hair to detangle. It took me three years to recover from that. My curls were so pretty beforehand. So, needless to say, I've been very hesitant to try a tool because most of them just don't work for my abnormally ridiculously I am not exaggerating tangled matted hair but despite my past horrible experience with hair tools I'm gonna be going into this hoping for something good say goodbye to hair tools that rip and snag your delicate tresses and say hello to a fresh solution that allows you to detangle your hair with minimal stress we will see about that because detangling and stress like are synonymous with me the magic is in the design of the teeth they are rounded seamless which is very important because seams can cause little micro tears in your hair which leads to breakage and damage which is not what we want. I love the fact that it's seamless. That's one of the things that really drew me to this and it's also shaped to mimic your fingers giving you a combing experience like no other. So since I am a finger detangling girl that was another thing that was intriguing to me. As far as the features of the comb it has two grip positions for added control. A curved handle. So I'm guessing it's kind of like ergonomic so you can kind of like hold it like this so it's not like hurting your hand maybe. It's also got a pointed tip on the end here for parting your hair and I'm not great great at parting so this is interesting this thing is very sturdy it kind of like I'm not gonna say it hurts because you want to make sure that it's like a nice pointy tip when you're parting your hair but I wouldn't say just like willy-nilly just like jab it into your scalp because this thing is kind of sharp and this plastic is no joke it is very very sturdy it doesn't feel cheap or flimsy again something that I really like but yeah if you need to part and detangle it's really nice and convenient so you don't have to have a separate tool for that and it's also bpa free it says it's great for styling and separating curls without causing unwanted frizz another thing that i like about it super super simple you just wash it with warm water and shampoo and you avoid using it with heat tools like if you're going to be blow drying your hair and do like a chase method or detangling while you're blow drying don't do that with this comb because it says it may damage the tool Ooh, and I like that it's big. Some people said that it was too big, especially they said the brush was big. I have a lot of hair and a big head, so this doesn't seem too big to me. Mm, that feels nice on my scalp, actually. These right here are rounded, but again, because this is so sturdy, it is pretty serious, so I am going to have to be kind of gentle when I am detangling because I don't want it to pull out any hair or be too rough on my scalp, but overall, just... Initial first impressions is a very, very well-made tool. So I'm going to be going above and beyond to give this stuff 
high, high chance to impress me. So whereas most people, when I've been watching these reviews, they go in with their hair kind of like fresh, ready for wash day, right? But most often what I see is people detangle after applying their deep conditioner and then they will detangle. And with my routine, if you are new to my channel, what I usually do is I will apply a conditioner to my dry hair, a lot, a lot of conditioner to the point where it gets wet after I let it marinate. And I'll also use a slip booster, like an aloe vera based kind of snotty gel type of product. Those two products really, really help with detangling. So after about an hour or so, things have really marinated, softened up, and I can really start to go in and detangle. And by then, my hair is wet. It's no longer dry because I have so much product on it. And then I'll go in and finger detangle, shampoo, deep conditioner. But because I really want to give this its best chance to detangle my hair. My hair is a special case. It is definitely more tangled than the average person you're going to come across. Whether curly, straight, kinky, you name it. My hair is just like... When I say it's tangled, you guys, it is tangled just looking at it. So I'm going to be using a cream silicone based conditioner to give me some added additional slip. I'm still going to be finger detangling. So this is going to be coming in after I do my regular routine. So I'm not just going to be going in with this as my sole detangling tool. I just don't think it's going to happen. It will cause breakage. It won't be good. Just... It won't be good. So I'm going to be using a conditioner with silicones as well as still finger detangling before even using this. So I want to let you guys know what the game plan is before I get into the shower because my shower is plastic and if I try to talk over it, it will be so annoying. So we're going to be doing a voiceover vibe today. So by the time I actually go in with this, my guess is that my hair is probably, depending on how the conditioner does, I'm guessing my hair is going to be around 80% detangled. And if this can help to get me the other 20%, I'll be happy. Now, for some people, they may want that 100%. But again, I know my hair. I know that most of the things out there on the market just cannot handle it when it comes to the tangles that I have in my hair. And that's why I don't use them. I just use my little thingies. If this can get me close to that 100% detangle level with my hair, that will be a win for me. I will meet you guys in the shower after I've done the bulk of my detangling to see if this can come in and help me along the way with the rest of it. So at this point, I have finger detangled my hair, as I mentioned, about 80%. Of course, the little hidden tangles, especially at my roots, are still there. So that is where my detangling tools, and I mean tools, plural, are going to come into play. Because I did not expect for this video to turn into a comparison between the Cosmology comb and the Magic Star rate comb that I mentioned earlier but it did so as you can see I've got some shed hair removed so I am ready to go in to see which of these my hair prefers my mom and I were getting ready for a yard sale and I came across my bag of sad hair tools that didn't work and I noticed that the magic star kind of resembled the cosmology so I grabbed it at the last minute just to see how they would compare so we're definitely gonna get into that but as you can see I am able to detangle very well with the cosmology comb i usually cannot get to my roots like this at all on wash day it's a mess which is why i wanted to experiment with using a tool again to see if i could get to these areas that are very hard to reach for me and it did a really good job i did notice that the comb was a bit hard for me to hold and that was something that i noticed in some of the reviews although it looks like the design would be very comfortable i found that it was just kind of awkward for me to hold I would experiment with holding it on the handle that curved handle and it kind of hurt a little bit and it felt like it was going to slip out of my hand because this plastic that it's made out of is so just heavy and very sturdy like I mentioned which is a good thing as far as it not being cheap but it's just was uncomfortable for me to use it wasn't very user friendly for my hand so I ended up gripping it kind of by the base I guess where the actual comb is that's where I found it was most comfortable for me to hold but even that felt a little weird but I was able to handle it a lot easier and get it through my hair one thing I noticed with this comb is that although it was kind of weird because it's like a dichotomy so on one hand as you can see it's detangling really really nicely but it would almost be like a traffic jam as you'll see in several instances in this video when it came to my tangles in this comb so right here it's kind of happened I'm moving the shed hair down the length of my hair towards the ends and the mid shaft and it just kind of at a certain point kind of stops so I kind of decided at this point to try out the magic star and here's a comparison of what they look like they're kind of a similar size the magic star doesn't have the 
more pointed ends like the cosmology does and it's also made of like a rubber i'm gonna read you guys a description of this comb because it's very unique i've had this for about oh my goodness maybe 15 years and i wasn't super impressed with it when i first used it but y'all this time i really liked it as you can see it is gliding through my hair so I went in with this comb to kind of get the remainder of the tangles that the cosmology left behind and I felt like it was so much easier for me to use. It was a lot more comfortable. I was able to get the underside and attack my sections from different angles like the front, the underside, the back of the section in a way that the cosmology just didn't reach as easily and it just glided through so much easier. As you can see I have a lot less resistance. Of course the ends and kind of where the tangles kind of started to bunch up and merv into my tangle traffic you'll see kind of towards the mid shaft but this helped to remove the tangles a lot easier that the cosmology missed and i just felt like it was a much more pleasant experience it wasn't nowhere near as heavy as that other comb was this one is very lightweight and I just felt like it was a lot more gentle on my hair. Now the Cosmology was very, very gentle on my hair compared to a lot of other hair tools I've used in the past. If I had to put it in like a 1 to 10 scale, 1 being this is horrible and 10 being I really, really enjoy this, I would say the Cosmology is like a solid 8.5. I would put the Magic Rake probably at a 9.5 it's not a 10 because i don't know if a 10 exists for me but i feel like the magic star based on this experience is is up there but as you can see i wanted to kind of go based on a back and forth to show you guys the difference i'm encountering a little bit more resistance with the cosmology a little bit more of a tugging that i didn't experience with the magic rate comb I was making progress but not as quickly as I did with the other one. So as you can see, it's kind of doing that bunching effect where I'm moving the shed hair and the tangles down the length of my strands but in a way where the comb is almost making it worse but making it better at the same time. It's so weird. So it's moving it down there, those shed hairs, but then it's all causing that traffic jam effect which is just really weird. And I felt like I could detangle and detangle and detangle and wouldn't make a lot of headway if I just used this one. But the magic star came in and helped to kind of finish the job, if that makes sense. So it's like the blue comb right here is helping get things started. And then the other one is finishing the job. So on some of the other sections of my hair, I ended up not even using the cosmology just to see what it would be like if I just used the black comb by itself and it just did a great job from start to finish so with that being said although i really like see this is a huge y'all this is like a perfect example right here so my roots like a good portion of the hair was getting detangled but as i was moving all those tangles and shed hair down the length of my strands like right at that mid shaft area it was doing the traffic jam situation where everything was just kind of merging and just stopping there but when I went in with this one, it really helped to make a lot of progress of that and further just move them on up out of my hair in general. So the description of this comb. This extra wide tooth comb is perfection in its design and function. It works like a hand to add volume. Again, we're talking about the hand comparison just like the cosmology, which is really interesting. So it adds volume, separates curls, and detangles highly textured hair. The Hercules Sageman combs are perfect for curly and afro hair. They are free from seams, so also seamless, we love that, and burrs to gently glide through the hair without snagging, ripping, or splitting strands. Unlike other combs, this comb offers maximum cuticle pre preservation and helps you maintain healthy hair and retain length. Made by hand from 100% vulcanized natural hard rubber, the teeth are seamless, hand sewn, hand cut, and hand polished. All these good things, y'all. Non-porous, guaranteeing hygiene, chemical and heat resistant. Anti-static, which prevents flyaways. Very smooth and gentle to the hair and scalp due to the rounded tips and sides. Very good at gliding ability when coming through the hair. And there's no punctuation in what I just read, you guys. It was a little weird to read. But that just gives you an idea of the quality that goes into this comb as well. Hand cut laser this and that all that fun stuff so this is actually one of the tools that i always wanted to revisit but just i never did because i finger detangled and that worked so well for me for a long time but now with my hair appearing to be changing i think that the magic star 
Raycomb. It's a very long name. It's like Magic Star, Hercules, Sageman. It's all that. I'll make sure to have both of these linked below. But yeah, I think this is going to be a big part of my routine going forward. This impromptu comparison of the two combs was really interesting because although I prefer the Magic Star because it's more lightweight to use, more comfortable in my hand, and I feel like it just glides through my tangles a lot easier and it's just a little bit better for me as far as the performance, I really did enjoy the cosmology. As you can see, it is really helping to detangle, especially my roots, which are a huge, huge problem area for me. That's where I get my matting of my hair the worst. It's really, really uncomfortable and makes wash day just so unpleasant but those little things that i mentioned like the resistance that i encounter in certain sections and that kind of strange traffic jam effect while i'm trying to use the comb to move the tangles through my hair but it kind of just stops mid shaft and it just takes forever to work it out those are things i don't love so i enjoyed this comb but because the magic star is so similar and better that's why that one is my favorite but overall i'm really happy with how this wash day went I used the Joico Moisture Recovery Conditioner to pre-poo and detangle. That's what I'm using here in the wash day that you're seeing. And I also cut open the Joico Moisture Recovery Treatment Balm because I loved both of these. Last time that I detangled my hair for straightening, it made my hair so, so detangled and did a really thorough job. So I knew I wanted to try it for this fun little detangling experiment today as well. So I can't wait to see what changes I might encounter with my hair with this new change to my routine. I'm hoping that my hair will have less breakage and overall just be healthier so if using a hair tool I felt that my roots were not as puffy as normal because I was able to actually detangle them which is not the case usually usually I just do the best I can and keep it moving but I really like the way that they look this time and felt one thing I'm concerned about with this new detangling routine though is my wash and goes one of the reason I love finger detangling is because it preserves my curl definition but with this new routine my curls are a bit looser and frizzier but we'll kind of cross that bridge when we get to it when it comes to that style Overall, this was such a fun experiment. Just wanted to show you guys one last comparison of these two combs, kind of side by side. They are very similar in size. The tips on this one are a little bit more pointed, whereas on the Magic Star, as you can see, they are a bit more rounded, which I felt was a lot more comfortable on my scalp and just using it on my hair. This is also a much lighter comb to use, not as heavy. Can't wait to see what this does for my curls and the overall health of my hair in the future. Let me know down below what your detangling routine is, what your favorite products are. Do you use tools, just finger detangling? I would love to know. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!